Chris from Codify Academy here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use W3Schools as a reference for when you're coding. This is basically going to be your dictionary. It's going to have a list of all the HTML tags and attributes, as well as a list of all the CSS selectors, properties, and values. Remember, those are the main focuses we have for right now. Okay, so once we're on the W3Schools homepage, the first thing we're going to want to do is click the HTML reference button. I'm going to go ahead and open this up in a new window. And now we can see an alphabetized list of all the HTML tags. We see each tag name on the left and a description for that tag on the right. Let's go ahead and open up the A tag. This is also known as the anchor tag. And we want to focus on three main things when we're looking at tags. The first is going to be a working example. You can just click on the try it yourself button to see the example. Below that, you'll find the second main focus. This is going to be the definition and how to use the tag. This will explain to you what the tag is for and why you would use it over any other tag. And third is the attribute list. So this list will show you the attributes we can add to this tag. Some will have more than others. Now let's move to the HTML attribute reference page. We're going to go back one tab and on the left we'll see attribute reference. Let's open this up and it's a list of all the extra things that we can add to HTML tags. We can see the attribute name here, the elements it can be added to, and a description of what it does. Let's look at the alt attribute. This is short for alternative text. Let's click in and read how and why it's going to be used, as well as what tags it can be added to. I was specifically curious about the alt attribute on an image tag. So I'm going to go find how it works. I'll click on the alt attribute and look at the example. You can change the properties and values and just make sure to click run to see what the changes would do. We're going to move on to the other half. So back to the home page, let's open up the CSS reference and this is going to be a list of the CSS properties. They have some grouped up here for you as an overview or you can just scroll down and find the individual property. Now remember each property can be applied to any tag Let's find one that we'd want to use. Let's look at adding background image. We can look into the example and by selecting the body tag, they're adding a background image to it. What we want to look for is when to use the property, how the property is written in CSS, and what are the possible values that can be added to that property. So again, the working example is here and you can see how it would be written in HTML and CSS. In this particular example, they're using something called the style tag. This is a way to add CSS into HTML without having a separate style sheet. This is known as the internal style tag. If you want, you can go ahead and look up a style tag. All right, great. And then the last one, we're going to open up CSS selectors. Here we'll see a nice list of how we can choose HTML elements to style them. Right, so let's look at the one we were using before, the HTML element selector. Here we can see an example, we can see how to use it, and the syntax on how to create it. W3Schools is going to be your best resource. Make sure to bookmark it and reference it often. Anytime you come across a new tag you don't know, a new attribute you don't know, a selector you've never seen, or a property you've never seen, come look it up. You know where to go.